All right, welcome back to another episode of Dear Sadie and P, uh, where we read your letters and give our two cents of advice. Yes, yes. And um, so how was your week? You want to share? I got a trampoline. Okay, that's good. <laughs> I got a mini trampoline from Amazon. It was like 50 euros. Nice. Best money I ever spent. It's so much fun. <laughs> Yeah, she spends a lot of time in the trampoline. <laughs> Do you hear me? From yeah. The other <laughs> oh no. <laughs> and then nothing. Silence. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, <laughs> can you actually hear it? A little bit. Oh no. It's okay. Don't worry. It doesn't. It doesn't bother me. So yeah, it's been uh, also a good week in the way that uh, the works upstairs are really going f- full force ahead. Good. So it's good. Uh, I can't wait to share you, with you what you know the, the the final the final results. Yeah, we'll keep it documenting it and yeah. put it together into one video. Yeah. Okay, let's read some letters. All right. So um, I wrote a while ago. Oh, so somebody who wrote to us already uh, about two years ago. Wow. Well, when when did we start the CDP? I guess about two years ago. Wow. <laughs> Anyway, I have a feeling, I have feelings for a colleague. She's a woman 25 years older than me. She's 60. So it's been going on for a couple of years. I finally said something to her, uh, but in a subtle way. I asked her a few times if she was ever going to marry me. Wow. (laughs) She said she has commitment issues. No, I remember this person. Okay, sorry. Okay, she has a phobia with it. That was the answer the first few times. Then the other times, she said she don't swing that way. I was confused. I still am confused. There's things that led me to believe she was projecting the same feelings I had for her to me. She let me hold her hand. She maintains contact with me. She tells me every single day she loves me. I gave her lipstick kisses on paper, she, and she saved all of them. She has a picture of me in lingerie. I can't put into words sometimes the way she looks at me. It's something I've never felt before through eye contact. I have tried dating other people within the past few years, but I feel like something is missing and it's her. Relationship always feels loud because I cannot give my all since I'm basically in love with her. She's very private and quiet. She doesn't really have a social life. I'm unsure if either she doesn't know she's gay or if I'm reading into everything too hard. What is your opinion? Okay. So, what do you think? This time, I don't know if it's so much internalized homophobia, but it might just be like internalized age gap phobia. (laughs) (laughs) Because she's 60 and, Mm -hmm. you know, there's the 25 year age gap. Um, Maybe she doesn't want to do that to you. You know, there were many times where you were feeling like you were doing me, doing a bad thing by being with me, mm-hmm. right? Can yeah. Can I talk about that? No, uh, yeah, it's true. Because I was, especially at the very beginning, I said, no, this is not happening. By staying with a person who is so old, so you should maybe, you know, um, like try some uh, some other options, like younger options, right? Yeah. And yeah, it's... But, uh, I mean, in this case, um, I don't know. You have to have uh, um, more of a deeper conversation with this woman, I believe. Yeah. I, I feel that's lacking. Uh, because if that's all, you what you wrote to us, then it feels a bit superficial. Because if she knows you are into her and she hasn't rejected, she hasn't... Uh, and you know she's saving your uh, uh, expression of love for her, and um, she cherished them. So I feel like you need to have more conversation. Maybe um, she really does have commitment issues. Like even if it's not about the age gap, I'm sure the age gap plays a role. Don't get me wrong, but um, maybe it's just her personality where she doesn't want to be married again. I don't know if she was married. That's also that's actually a very good point that you're making there because many people who reach a certain age Mm -hmm. after I don't know if she was married before or she was with somebody, but she seems to be. I think she was, but maybe I'm remembering wrong. Or even if she was with somebody, Mm -hmm. I feel like 
even for me, I had commitment issues actually. When Sadie said that you went, you wanted to be in a relationship with me, I freaked out. Yeah, because I, I that. yeah, I didn't want to uh, commit so much. It's yeah. the idea of commitment forever, and then you have already reached a certain age. You already have, you've been there, you've done that kind of like that feeling and you don't want to do it again yeah and it's hard if you take it personal because it's like well why don't you want to be with me what's wrong with me but maybe it has nothing to do with you and everything to do with her yeah and like you said being afraid of that commitment exactly just like you were yeah and it took a long time to convince you i guess the only advice i could give is be persistent and yeah. don't don't change your mind, like stick with her and yeah. see how she reacts because maybe she needs um, like a lot more encouragement that this is what you actually want. Yeah. So I would say if you really have strong feelings, don't date other people and just keep going. Even if, even if there's no marriage in the future or like even if she doesn't acknowledge that it's a relationship, maybe she needs a lot more time to like get there yeah and you know some people will never get there like some people just don't want to get married which is fine i, I feel like it's such an overrated uh, yeah. thing marriage yeah as long as you have a, a loving intimate connection with someone that's really all that matters right and yeah so good luck with that <laughs> <laughs> let's read one more yes dear sadie mp First of all, let me thank you for your content. I've been watching you guys for years now and I really appreciate what you do. I find you two to be really inspiring as individuals and as a couple. Now here is my story. I'm 27 years old and I have a crush on my professor. She's 42 and married to a man. She comes from quite a religious and strict background, but she is very laid back and accepting of queer people and she knows that I'm a lesbian. We've grown close over the past year since we've been working together on a project. Usually we end up having really long and deep conversations which aren't related to the project at all. I feel like we have a very strong connection and it's unlike anything I've experienced before in any relationship. She feels very familiar to me, almost like I've known her for a really long time or from another life. I can tell she feels this way too as she has openly commented on how crazy it is that we mirror each other in so many ways. We recently had a conversation about the people we find attractive. We were speaking in a very playful way, as we mostly do. To me, the way we speak feels like flirting, but I can't really tell if she's actually flirting back because we have a different cu cultural backgrounds. In my culture, it would definitely be considered flirting, as we tend to be more subtle and speak with a double meaning. However, her culture tends to be more straightforward and direct. This really makes me doubt what she makes of the way in which we interact. Anyway, in the conversation, she started to list the famous men that she finds attractive. Then she stopped herself and said, Actually, I don't really have a type. Type. I'm not strict at all about that. Then she went on to say that she was attracted to a particular male singer, and while giving me quite a shy, nervous look, barely looking me in the eyes, she said, And his wife. This attitude is not common from her, as she is very self-confident. In the moment, I had an internal gay panic, but I managed to say, I agree, and tried to play it cool. Since then, I feel like she's tried to get closer. She started to compliment the way I dress. She asked me to have lunch with her more than once a week, randomly asked me to accompany her to run different uni errands, not related to the project, etc. The issue is that I'm starting to catch feelings. It's no longer just the physical attraction. I know that nothing can happen now, especially due to the professional aspect of the whole situation. However, I will finally finish my studies soon. The question is, what's your take on the situation, including the fact that she's married? If anything were to happen, would you let her make the first move to know for sure that she's into me? Thanks in advance for your advice. So this is different, mm -hmm. right, from last time where the lady was married, because I feel like she also has some feelings. Has some feelings, and clearly. And... Um, yeah, I think the best policy here is to wait for her to make the first move because you don't know if uh, she has an open relationship with her husband, you know, you, you don't know. So uh, she's allowed to make the first move. The only way to find out is to wait for her to make the first move. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> 
But but if you don't want to wait that and you want to have more conversation with her, telling her about her feeling, your feelings, I feel like you can do that quite mm. safely with this person. Yeah, it seems so, like that. And I mean, I would probably ask about the relationship with her husband mm-hmm. and dig into that. Like, right. is it an open relationship? Are you right. allowed to date other people? What's what's the deal? Exactly. Um, and maybe if you take the conversation in that direction, she will, you know, open up a little exactly. bit. Exactly, exactly. Yes. I hope. Yeah, totally. <laughs> But yeah, there's, I, I feel like there's a lot more hope in your situation because it was a slow development yeah and she's giving some gay hints right um and um she's very proactive about being with you, you and yeah, yeah. asking you to lunch that's that yeah. kind of stuff is pretty pretty gay yeah. yeah yeah and complimenting your looks and all of that those are all really gay signs yeah. i personally don't like waiting for other people to make the move So, so you would ask, <laughs> what's your relationship with your husband? <laughs> Not only that, I would take her out to a place that, you know, there's alcohol involved and all of that. Get her loosened up, maybe some dancing, slap it on, <laughs> just a kiss, <laughs> and then see what happens. I would stir the pot a little bit. But I, like when, I like when we were at the pub and you kissed me on that <laughs> Valentine's Day. And it was the open mic. Yeah. Yeah, you went up, sang, then you came back, and you were the one drinking. Yeah, you yeah. weren't even drinking. I was, I was drinking, so I felt like the alcohol was more for you to give oh. a kiss than for me. But Whatever. that's okay. It would have helped just, if you were drinking too, but, you know, what are you going to do? I, I don't need to drink, you know. You kiss me, well, I was happy. Kiss okay. you back, you know. <laughs> just like that. I mean, that's a good sign also, like, if you kiss her and she kisses you back. Yeah, you know. I don't think she's gonna push you off. Like that's not the vibes I'm getting. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay. Good luck with that. Good luck with that. <laughs> Let us know, please. Yeah. And we have one last letter that I think we should include. This last letter actually started a pretty juicy conversation about open relationships. So we decided to make a whole video out of just that. But I'll post it tomorrow right away. So it's gonna be a separate video. Thank you for watching this one and we'll see you tomorrow.